We are asked to select all these statements that are true given the piecewise defined function f of x. We are given f of x equals 3x plus 21 if x is less than negative 4. f of x equals the square root of the quantity x plus 85 if x is greater than negative 4. And f of x equals 2 if x equals negative 4. We will first determine which statements are true analytically, but then we will also verify the results graphically. The first statement is f of negative 4 is defined. We are given f of x equals 2 if x equals negative 4, which means f of negative 4 is equal to positive 2, and therefore this first statement is true. f of negative 4 is defined because it's equal to 2. The next statement is the limit as x approaches negative 4 of f of x exists. Remember, if this limit exists, we must approach the same function value as we approach x equals negative 4 from the left and the right which means the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the negative header left side of f of x must equal the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the positive header right side of f of x. Let's determine these one-sided limits. As we approach x equals negative 4 from the left or negative side, we are approaching negative 4 from values that are less than negative 4, and therefore, we are approaching x equals negative 4 along the linear function f of x equals 3x plus 21 because f of x equals 3x plus 21 if x is less than negative 4. And we know we can determine limits of linear functions by performing direct substitution. If we substitute negative 4 for x in the linear function, we have 3 times negative 4 plus 21, which is negative 12 plus 21, which equals positive 9. And now let's determine the limit as we approach x equals negative 4 from the positive side or right side, which means we are approaching x equals negative 4 from values greater than negative 4, and therefore, and therefore we are approaching x equals negative 4 along the square root function because f of x equals the square root of the quantity x plus 85 if x is greater than negative 4. And because negative 4 is in the domain of the square root function, we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution which gives us the square root of the quantity negative 4 plus 85, which equals the square root of 81, which is equal to 9. Notice both one-sided limits are equal to positive 9, and therefore the limit exists. Next, the limit as x approaches negative 4 of f of x equals f of negative 4, which indicates we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. But this is not true because we know the limit is equal to positive 9, but f of negative 4 is equal to positive 2. This statement is not true. The next statement is the function is continuous at x equals negative 4. In order for a function to be continuous at a point, all three of these statements must be true. And because this third statement is not true, this fourth statement is also not true. The function is not continuous at x equals negative 4 because there is a break in the graph, and therefore the fifth statement is true. The function is not continuous at x equals negative 4. Again, let's verify the results graphically. To graph this piecewise defined function, we graph the line f of x equals 3x plus 21 if x is less than negative 4, which is this piece of the graph. Notice how we have a hole at x equals negative 4 because the function value is positive 2, giving us this close point here with coordinates negative 4, comma 2. And then if x is greater than negative 4, we have this piece of the curve here given by the square root of function. Remember, we can always graph a function by completing a table of values if we need to. Going through the statements again, f of negative 4 is defined as true because at x equals negative 4, we have this closed point here where the function value or y coordinate is positive 2. The limit as x approaches negative 4 exists. This is true because as we approach x equals negative 4 from the left, we are approaching the function value of 9. And as we approach x equals negative 4 from the right or positive side, we are also approaching the function value of positive 9. The limit as x approaches negative 4 of f of x equals f of negative 4 is not true because the limit is equal to 9. The function value is equal to positive 2. Graphically, we can see the function is not continuous at x equals negative 4 because we have a hole here and a closed point here. So the function is not continuous 
and x equals negative 4 is true, this fourth statement is not true. I hope you found this helpful.